Back in the day, the models for the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show would just walk up and down the runway all mean and hungry looking and boring and just mm. I was the one that was walking and smiling and winking and waving and doing all this kind of stuff. Look at the fashion show today. What are the girls doing? Mm-hmm. The wonderful thing about that company was they're not really into like age. So I was 32 or something like that. And I told them that I'm ready to move on. And they had a contract, another three, five year contract or something on the table, a lot of money. But I was like, it's time for me to do something else and I'm gonna do a talk show. And I feel like I'm not sure if I should be in my bras and panties while I'm telling girls and guys about self-esteem and issues and challenges. And so I walked away from that contract and really focused on my talk show 100%. One of my most impactful shows for my talk show was my Kiss My Fat Ass episode. I was on a beach doing a photo shoot for America's Next Top Model in a brown one-piece swimsuit. And there was a paparazzi that took some pictures of me. And when I came home, I was on the cover of every tabloid, America's Next Top Model, Tyra Shanks. And I laughed it off in the beginning, but I'll never forget being in a grocery store. And this woman was looking at the cover and she said, Tyra, if you were fat, what am I? And I was like, whoa. And then she was tearing up and I was like, whoa. And so I realized I needed to do something. And so I decided to address it. So I wrote this whole thing with my talk show team, amazing producers. And I was heading to the stage. And at the last minute, I went back into the room with my stylist and I'm like, where's that swimsuit that I wore? She goes, oh, it's in this bag, but it has oil on it and it's just a mess. I was like, pull it out. And she's like, no, no. I'm like, pull it out. And I go out on stage. I surprised the audience. I surprised all my producers. No one knew that I was going to do that episode in the same swimsuit that I was wearing just two weeks earlier. And the very last thing I said was so impactful. And I came up with kiss my fat ass. It's like, screw you, basically. It was a big screw you. And I just think it was like, a, it required an applause from every woman, whatever shape, whatever size they were around the world. Just a huge, like, thank you and a huge applause. I thought I was going to be so strong and it was this rallying cry, but I ended up crying in the end. I wrote the speech. I did everything, not for myself, but for women everywhere. But I realized when I teared up, it was for me too. I think my tears came from years of being a model and being told, not just you're black and you can't do this, but your butt's too big, your boobs are too big, your booty's too juicy, your thighs are too thick. And then hearing my friends saying that, oh, they're not beautiful and they wanna do this to their bodies or that, or looking at this, comparing themselves. It was just all of this inside of me. And that's where those tears came from. It, they honestly, were not just from my empathy for the world, but it was from my personal pain.